You will hear some extracts. Read through the headings before listening. For each extract, choose the heading that best matches the information you have heard. Then, write the letter in the corresponding white box. There are two headings you will not need and an introductory extract as an example. Now, read the headings. Example. As children, most of us were not taught how to deal with anger. Being angry was to be bad. Barbara Wells of Education Plus suggests that parents should accept children's anger and then encourage different behaviors. Try to catch your children being good. Tell them what pleases you. You might say, I like the way you came to dinner without being reminded. Or, you did a great job reading to your sister. Extract number one. Oftentimes, when children have difficulties with reading and writing, they are considered to be low achievers or slow learners. But the real problem may be a learning disability. Dyslexia is one type of learning disability that affects how a child perceives and processes words, numbers, and symbols. Although dyslexia can only be diagnosed by a trained professional, there are some signs that you can look for. In most cases, signs of dyslexia show up as soon as children begin learning to read. Extract number two. From writing letters to writing speeches, good writing skills will enrich your child's life socially and academically. An early start is the key. Fortunately, most young children love to write. Here's how to encourage them to love writing throughout their lives. Start by reading what your child writes. Pick out ideas and sentences you particularly like and ask your child how he or she thought of it. Try to avoid criticism. You can show your kids how useful writing can be by incorporating writing into your routine family life. Extract number three. Green frog looking at me. A child's ability to read is the single most important factor in determining academic success. Skillful readers usually do well in school. Less skilled readers do not. And parents should not leave the job of teaching reading just up to teachers. You can increase your child's reading skills by spending some one-on-one -on -one time reading interactively. This means that you go beyond just reading the words. Both of you share thoughts and ideas about what you're reading. Extract number four. Most adults think that children can't learn to write until they learn to read. Not true. When your two or three year old draws pictures or scribbles, he or she is beginning to write. Pictures are your child's way of telling a story or describing something that happened. You might see letters in the pictures, and although these letters have no literal meaning, they are the next step in the development of writing skills. Later, your child will try to write real words using what is called invented spelling. This means using letters that represent parts of words. Extract number five. Should environmental education be taught in the classroom? Well, if we don't save the environment, then we're not going to have any place to live in. So it's going to be a disaster area completely. Teaching about the environment is obviously important. Children need to learn and practice certain behaviors that will help to protect our planet. Think Earth is one example of an environmental education program that was developed to do just that. Extract number six. When it comes to violence, I'm scared sometimes. Um, I don't want to be an innocent bystander and something happened to me or any of my friends. Not only is violence a growing factor in both junior and senior high schools, it's also increasing at the elementary level. What's worse, two-thirds of school administrators predict even more problems in the future.
Extract number seven. Of all the things you can give your children to help them in life, good self-esteem may be the most important. Self-esteem gives us the confidence to handle challenges and to feel worthy of the things we want, such as happiness and success. Without strong self-esteem, life can be full of problems such as depression, low achievement, drug abuse, and crime. Self-esteem comes from what children think about themselves, not what other people think. Extract number eight. Most parents agree that too much television can have a bad influence on children, but they're not sure what the effects are or how to counter them. Recent studies identify two problems that can result from too much TV. First, children often see complex adult situations on TV. If left alone to interpret mature television stories, children can form unrealistic views of life. Extract number Most parents know that creativity is a good thing and they'd like their children to be creative But many parents think that creativity and intelligence are the same thing. They are not Creativity is a special type of problem-solving ability that's employed when conventional solutions just won't work Creativity calls for flexibility and adaptability in the way someone thinks 